I did not choose a rabbit. No, I did choose rabbit. I think. I don't even know if it's recording. It might be, it might not. Maybe that's the theme of this TBR, just books that I have not fucking read yet. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, you just have to point right or left. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my July TBR for 2023. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every single month, and she always has a fun little theme to go along with it, but this time she chose a new kind of theme um, that I personally think is her best one yet. So she's calling it TBR Roulette. I think that somebody else has a TBR game called TBR Roulette, but... If they do, please let me know so I can give them credit. But this one's different than theirs, so it's fine. It just has the same name. So my mom really likes watching Instagram reels, and one of the like trends going around right now is the one where they hold up two cue cards, and they have to pick one or the other. Do you know what I'm talking about? So she made a whole bunch of cue cards, and she had me pick. So I'm going to splice that footage into the TBR so you guys can see me picking, but I think that this is so much fun. I might make her do this every time instead of just picking a theme. We might be doing TBR roulette from now on. We'll see. Let me know down below if you guys like it or if you want to go back to just like regular themes. The first two options were AM versus PM. Ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. I did not choose PM, so I did not choose the Tiger at Midnight. So that one is going away. But the one that is the AM card is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This is one that has been on my TBR for far, far too long, so I'm not mad that I might actually finally read this book. The tagline is a gifted tailor in disguise, three legendary dresses, the competition of a lifetime. It follows a tailor and his daughter, and the tailor is summoned by the imperial court, but he's very sick, so the daughter decides to go in his place disguised as their son because the the court wants him to be the imperial tailor. But then when she arrives, there are 12 other tailors vying for the job. So she enters this competition, disguised as the sun, trying to become the next imperial tailor. I'm assuming there's going to be some backstabbing, some betrayal, all that good shit. So I'm actually very excited about this one. I think it sounds really good. The next two options were queen and king. Go. Okay. I did not choose Queen. So the book that I do not get to read is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultel, which I'm kind of upset about because, again, this one has been on my TBR forever, but alas, not the time. The one that I did choose, though, is King, which was The Fever King by Victoria Lee, which honestly, I am also excited about this one, so I'm not that mad about it. This follows a boy who a virus basically wiped out a bunch of people, including his family, and the court decided to, like, explain experiment on him and basically made him a technopath, which basically means that he can control technology. So the Minister of Defense becomes very interested in him, and this newfound power of his thrusts him into the magical elite of California, and it's kind of the story of, like, keeping him away from those who want to use his powers for not-so-good things. I read Victoria Lee's other book, The Lesson of Vengeance, and really enjoyed it, so we're hoping that we like this too. This the next pairing that she chose was Six and Baker's Dozen. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm not even there yet! Go. Okay. I did not choose six, which I am very sad about because it was the Atlas Six, which I still need to freaking read. It's fine. But I did choose Baker's Dozen, which I thought meant 12, but apparently it means 13. So the book is 13 Doorways, Wolves Behind Them All by Laura Ruby. This is another one that I've had on my TBR forever, at least 2019, because that's when this art came out. I do know that this is on audiobook at my library, so I gotta go find it and request it and hope that it's a very short line. This is like a World War II book, which I am not always the biggest fan of, like, historical fiction books, so we're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully the audiobook version will make me like it more, because I know when I read them physically, not a fan, so we'll have to see. Fingers crossed we actually like it, but who knows. The next two options were Ice and Fire. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I did not choose Fire, so I do not get to read Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker, so that is going back on the TBR. But I did choose Ice, which means I am reading Girl in Ice by Robert Brunza, and this one, again, TBR forever. This basically follows a detective who finds 
a young socialite under the ice. They think that she has been murdered. They start connecting the dots to another case where three women were killed and dumped into the waters of London and they think that this may be the same person so they're investigating so you know your typical crime novel but it does say it's a gripping serial killer thriller which serial killers are my jam so I really should actually read this book. The next pairing that she did was Truth and Lies. Does this freak you out? Yeah. Why? I mean it shouldn't really because it's you pick my TBR anyways but I'm it's like what if the other option is the one that I they might want more? They might more? be. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I want it. I did not pick truth, which means I am not reading The Truth Beneath the Lies by Amanda Searchy, but I did choose Lies, which means I am reading Lies by T.M. Logan. This is another one. TBR. Forever. I'm just gonna read the back because it kind of summarizes everything, but it says a single moment a husband catches a fleeting glimpse of his wife somewhere she's not supposed to be, a shocking act of violence, a wife swears she's telling the truth, but the secret she's keeping could destroy a family. What if your whole life was based on lies? Personally, I think she has a whole nother second family, but I guess we're gonna see, and I hope somebody dies. Not the child, though. The next pairing was Rabbit and Butterfly. Okay. I did not choose Butterfly, so I am not reading The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Ports, but I did choose a Rabbit, which means I am reading White Rabbit by Caleb Roherg, and again, TBR forever. This follows a boy who is trying to get over his ex and then all of a sudden the ex pops back up and is like, hey, we need to talk. At the brink of that, when they're about to have this little talk, he gets a phone call from his sister, April. She's asking for help, so they drive out to find her and they find her covered in blood, holding a knife, and at her feet is her boyfriend. So they have to figure out what the heck happened. Is she a killer? We don't know. I hope so. And then the final pairing that she did was new arc, old arc. Are you only just gonna go with your right side? No. I just didn't want to go right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so... Now it's gonna be this one. Okay. I did not choose Old Ark, so she chose Circle of Shadows for that by Evelyn Skye. Not reading it. I chose New Ark, which means I am reading Delicious Monsters by Lizelle Sambury, which I'm very happy about because she had this on my last TBR for June, and I never got around to it, even though the audiobook came in. I just didn't read it. So I'm excited that she chose it again. Newest arc in physical form is... February 2023, Delicious Monsters. We're gonna get to it, we're gonna read it, I swear. Because I actually am very interested in this one. I just I just need to read it. So it's gonna happen, we're gonna read it, hopefully. I don't know, but I'm excited. All right, everybody, so that was TBR Roulette, name in progress. Let me know what you guys think of the name. If there is another booktuber who is doing this. Please let me know so I can give them credit, but blame my mother, because she doesn't watch booktube, so. She didn't know, okay? But I had a lot of fun with it. Let me know if you think this should be a reoccurring thing on my channel, or, if we should just go back to the regular, she just picks a random theme. Let me know what y'all think. Also, let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!